All right, we are going to talk about conversions and how to convert between different units of length, area, and volume, and talk a little bit about capacity. And I'm gonna give you a conversion chart. If you just remember one chart, from there you'll be able to remember all of the ones for area, volume, and uh, hopefully that should make life a little bit easier. All right, let's talk about our standard unit of measurement we often use is a meter. And we also use things like kilometers, and centimeters and millimeters. Now we know that there is a thousand meters in a kilometer, there are a hundred centimeters in one meter, and there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So to convert between those, I would multiply by that amount. So one kilometer times a thousand gives me meters. So one times a thousand would be a thousand meters. I could do the same for centimeters and the same for millimeters. So going from a larger to a smaller, I'm gonna multiply by this number. Now going the other way, I divide, okay? So, uh, and we'll look at some examples in a moment. But this chart here, this is the one that I want you to memorize. Because if you can reproduce this, I'm gonna show you in a minute how you can use it for a whole heap of different measurements. So make sure you memorize this one. Let's have a look at how it works. You were asked, say, to convert 2.3 meters to centimeters. So we are gonna be starting here at meters and we're going to move over here to centimeters. So going from here to here, I just follow the arrows. And it says, well, take my number, in this case 2.3, multiply it by 100, because that's the calculation that goes with that arrow. So 2.3 times 100 is 230 centimeters. What about the other way? What if I was asked to convert 1850 meters to kilometers? Well, I'm gonna start at meters, and I'm going to end up here at kilometers. So following the arrow, it tells me to take the amount that I'm starting with and divide it by a thousand. When I do that, I get 1.85 kilometers. So in essence, that's how our chart works. But what if it was more than one jump? In this case, convert 3.1 kilometers to centimeters. Now it's going to be a lot of centimeters, so I know it should be a big number, but following the exact same process, I'm going to start at my kilometers and I'm going to go through my meters and end up here at centimeters. So I'm actually doing two jumps with the arrows. I'm going times a thousand, and then I'm gonna times a hundred to get to my centimeters. I'm going from kilometers to centimeters. So I'm just gonna do both of those multiplications. And when I do that, I get 310,000 centimeters in 3.1 kilometers. So that's how you use this conversion chart for lengths. However, what about if you were asked to convert areas in other words maybe square meters to square centimeters now i've grayed out these values <clears throat> but i do need to keep them because all i have to do if i'm squaring the units because we're now we're representing area i just square the numbers now i've got a conversion chart for area okay i could convert square centimeters to square millimeters by doing the exact same steps that we did in our examples Okay, I could convert millimeters to square, sorry, square millimeters to square kilometers. If I followed these three arrows, I could do all kinds of conversions. But what about for volume? Now in volume, remember we're talking about units that are cubed. We could talk about a volume of cubic meters or cubic centimeters. Well, hopefully you see the pattern by now. If I'm cubing the units, I just simply cube these numbers. So they haven't changed. So if I remember that first one, I can work out the squared units, I can work out the cube units simply by uh, cubing or squaring the numbers. So in other words, if I wanted to convert one cubic meter to centimeters cubed, I would times it by 100 to the power of three. I could do that in my calculator, which is 100 times 100 times 100, okay? So the chart itself works exactly the same. What about though, uh, units of capacity? now? This is where we are talking about the capacity or the amount that something can hold. Similar idea to volume, but often when we're talking about units of liquid, we might talk about liters, kiloliters, megaliters, or going down smaller, we go milliliters. Now you'll notice these numbers are different. Instead of being 1,110, these are 1,000, multiples of 1,000 each time. So there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. There are 1,000 liters in a kiloliter. Now you could use the chart exactly the same, um, but in this case we're using units of thousands for each one. Now, uh, some prefixes. We call these megaliters 
Mega just is a prefix for a million. So uh, there are, in fact, a million liters in a megaliter. Kilo is the prefix for a thousand, a kiloliter. And milliliter is a thousandth. So split a liter into a thousand pieces. So they're just with some metric prefixes. Volume is the, uh, is the amount of space that something takes up. Capacity is the amount that something can hold. So when we talk about liquids, like say uh, a liter of milk, we say that that has a capacity of one liter, that container. Speaking of milk, is there a correlation between these two? Is there something that links capacity and volume? In fact, there is. And these are the way I like to remember them. One liter is a thousand cubic centimeters. Now you think, oh, how am I meant to remember that? Well, if you think about a one liter container of milk, just roughly, it doesn't have to be exact, but just roughly think about the size of it. It's around about seven centimeters square and it's around about 20 centimeters tall. So if you were to sit on the table in front of you, you could think of those measurements roughly are, uh, yeah, it's about that. If you multiply those three together to get the volume in cubic centimeters, it works out to be just a shade over a thousand. So you can see that there are, if I took those measurements and multiplied them together, seven times seven times 20.5, to get the volume of that container in cubic centimeters, it comes out to around about a thousand. So you can remember one liter equals a thousand, cubic centimeters. You might have also seen these containers on the back of particularly work utes on construction sites and things like that. It's a one meter cube. It's one meter across by one meter deep by one meter high. And uh, they also hold a thousand liters of liquid. So that is one cubic meters because one times one times one, it's one it's like a cube that is a one meter all the way around. It's one cubic meter and it holds a thousand liters. So there's a connection there between uh, one kiloliter and a cubic meter. They are the same thing. And I can summarize that here with this little um, graphic. One liter is a thousand cubic centimeters. One cubic meter is a thousand liters. All right, I hope that all made sense. Now you know how to use conversion charts for length, area, and volume. A little bit about capacity and just some common connections between volume and capacity. Well done.